sometimes people think, wow, the tropics, it's so fast, it's so lush, it's so worthwhile and all that. So first thing is like in this area down here at the peninsula, the water which comes out of the ground has a high amount of like of lime in it, of calcium. Uh. So what you see here is actually like in it in a bark of in the wood of a tree. Every every line is a year. You know, like so every rainy season, after the rainy season, the water gets more shallow. So the, the water would dry up and form another another um crust. another crust of lime. So ev this is like year by year by year. What it also does for me as, as an ex sculpture, it is really like, I mean, you can tell when you look at those things, you know, and in the rainy season and all that, and if you will go up here, we don't have the time. But all, every, each one of those little creeks is a, an amazing piece of art in the rainy season. There's no leaves, nothing, everything is like sandblasted, it's just amazing. But another thing what I want to point out here before we leave is like, here we have a chance to see really how, what, how this looks, you know, like where, what, on what we're walking. Like if we go all the way down, we have like the Lajas, what we have in the Rio Lajas. That's where eventually the water, what we have, the amount of water springs will filter through that and go down to this, to this rock which is, it seems to be everywhere, also when you go out into the ocean, right, at low tide you see the rocks, they are just more polished. So on the rocks we have like this kind of gravel, and as you see, it's just the woods, the roots and all that, which, which kind of hold that thing together, and what we have on the surface, on topsoil, is, believe it or not, sometimes an inch, or maybe maximum two inches. So that's why once we, we cut down primary forest, we always hear these things, but I like to point it out because you really can notice and you can see it. Sometimes it's, it's, it becomes more, uh, more reality, you know, like, so we can easily imagine with the strong rains what we have here, that little bit of topsoil goes instantly. That's why cutting down tropic, uh, you know, like tropical rainforests and stuff, they can be happy if they can grow like a year or two sugarcane on it or maybe corn, but then it's gone. Then it's kind of like uh, hydroponics. Everything you want to get out of it, you have to inject first because there's nothing in the ground anymore. Because the way how tropical forest works is like, you might have seen, it just goes around in the internet recently, this kind of like vortex, you know, like how the energy kind of like circulates and all that and goes the other way around like that. And actually, I've seen that uh, nowhere so strong and so effective and so obvious, like in a tropical forest, where you can observe that, how really like things grow fast, shoot their energy or their leaves or whatever they have or rot and fall down again and create food again for the new growing thing. So it is a super fast circle, constantly. When I look back, to, for example, in Europe, and I look at soil and at woods there, we have much more soil, and the whole thing goes just a couple times slower, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like, we don't have this fast grow and disintegrate and all that. So in the tropics, once you get that energy, that flow, and uh, this can be very stimulating, and for me it helped also like to realize how things really, you know, how, how nothing we really are, you know, how much we just really in the moment of like blooming and disintegrate again. But where I come from, from a European culture, there's all more like, you know, more history, it has more foundation and all that. But I observe that nature is exactly like that too. So this is just some observation that I have. Culture here is different, it, things go quick, you know. They're very impulsive, Latin Americans and all that. It's everything in the moment and mañana es otro día. And in Europe it's like we have this, we have our foundation, we have our culture, we have our history and that's what we build on. And nature is exactly like that too.